Okay, this is the uh, specific heat capacity experiment. This is the one where we measure the specific heat capacity of a certain material. In this case, it's this thing here, which is, it's a metal. Uh, this is a cylindrical block. It's actually designed for this experiment. Uh, it's, it's, it's supposed to be exactly one kilogram. And no prizes for guessing that this is aluminium. Okay, now it has two holes in it, one for the immersion heater and one for the thermometer. So that's going to go there. Now, if you remember from uh, maybe doing this in uh, G GCSE, we put a little bit of oil in each hole. <coughs> that gives us a, a better thermal connection between the thermometer or the immersion heater and the block itself. So, immersion heater in, thermometer, okay, thermometer is, what have we got here? Right, there's your starting temperature, don't know if you can see that. Thermometer in, right, we're ready to set up the circuit. Okay, we need to know uh, how much heat energy is going into the one kilogram of aluminium. And then we're gonna measure the temperature rise. I'm gonna use the equation delta E equals MC delta T. Right, how to calculate or how to measure the exact amount of energy, thermal energy, that goes into this. Well, we're gonna put an electric motion heater, and if you remember, we're gonna measure the voltage and the current in the circuit or the voltage across the immersion heater and the current passing through the immersion heater. Now we know that power is current times voltage, P equals IV. So if we also know the time, then the, the amount of electrical energy that's turned into heat energy and put into the block, that's W equals IVT. That's how we're gonna calculate the number of joules that goes into this aluminium block. Right, let's set up the circuit. Okay, so we have the immersion heater in parallel with our power supply. And that's going to be a maximum. We're going to go up to, I think it's about 12 volts. We need to make the ammeter part of the circuit. So the ammeter has to be in series with the immersion heater. And then finally, the voltmeter. Well, the voltmeter can just go across the power supply. So we're just gonna have the voltmeter in parallel with the power supply. The reason we can do that is because the ammeter has virtually no resistance and the wires have virtually no resistance. So the voltage across that should technically be the same as the voltage across the immersion heater. Okay, so we're almost there. One last thing, because we want to minimize heat losses, we're gonna put this in a jacket. We're gonna put this in an insulating jacket like this and have the block on a heat proof mat. So all we need to do is have that held in place like that. Okay. Now we need to be writing down, just to recap what we need to write down, we need the voltage, we need the current, and we need the end time. With those three values, we're gonna calculate the amount of thermal energy that goes into the block, okay? We're gonna need our start temperature and our final temperature, and we're gonna need the mass of the block to find the specific heat capacity of aluminium. So, let's just get a quick, more accurate measurement of initial temperature. I don't know if you can see that there. 
I make that 28 degrees Celsius. Right, start temp, 28 degrees Celsius. Ready to go. <coughs> so it takes a short while for this to go on, but when this goes on, I'm gonna start the stopwatch there. Okay, we have a voltage of 12.05 volts. We've got a current of 4.11 or 4.10 amps. Now these two values should be constant throughout, which is nice because that will make it quite easy to work out the energy, the, third, the electrical energy that goes into the immersion heater. Now, how much, how long to go for? We're gonna go for, gonna go for 10 minutes. So, time's up, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is done. Last little reading to take is the final temperature. So the final temperature we are looking at, so you can get a, a good look at that. Final reading, I reckon 49 degrees Celsius. So there you go, there's our temperature rise, 49 degrees Celsius. Right, all that remains is to find the specific capacity of aluminium. Thank you very much.